Terraria has a bunch of amazing music tracks. Why do you think I use some of them in my videos? But I want more Terraria music. More Terraria music. Why don't I go to the place where it all comes from? Terraria has 88 tracks, with 27 of them being from Terraria Otherworld. They range from fighting Moonlord to the first thing you hear upon booting up the game. There is a way to obtain the music in-game without having to record it via OBS or a third-party software. The wizard NPC offers this to sell the music box, an equipable item that, after a randomised delay, will record music from the current environment. So, my question was, could I collect all Terraria music boxes? There are basically no rules in this challenge, just some basic world info. This is a medium sized world, Crimson World Evil, on classic difficulty. After modelling my character and world after iconic music references, I started the run. Now, the challenge only starts in hard mode as the wizard, who we buy our music boxes from, only spawns in the cavern layer after entering hard mode, so let's quickly run through what I did in pre hard mode. I Chop a tree, explore, accidentally summon the Eye of Cthulhu, kick its ass. Purposefully summon the Brain of Cthulhu, kick its ass. The goblins come past, I send them packing. I summon Skeletron, I kick its ass. I obtain the Mamasura. I set up an ice and jungle pylon and accidentally summon Queen Bee. I summon the Eye of Cthulhu to regain some health, which leads to this funny moment where I've got two bosses after me, but my ass gets handed to me. I make a elevator. I set up a hell pylon and mine Hellstone. I craft the Knight's Edge, find Shimmer, build the ugliest housing units you will ever see, and completely over-prepare for the Wall of Flesh. I set up a reusable guide, sacrifice it, and murder like the Wall of Flesh. I break altars, gaining Palladium, Mithril, and Titanium. I decimate the underground looking for hard mode ores and find Mr. Wizard. Now is when our challenge really begins. After noticing that the music box costs 10 gold, I realised that I would need 10 gold per music box, plus the extras for the title music boxes which I will cover in a second. I would need 1,190 gold coins, or just under 12 platinum. I would also need extra money for reforging, healing at a nurse, and buying extra music boxes for the guaranteed mistakes I will make. So, faced with increasing financial issues, I decided to make an AFK farm. The farm I am using is designed by Chaos, and I will link it in the description. It is a basic money farm, however, this farm requires you to be tapped into Terraria the entire time. What if you need to use your computer for something else? Let me show you how to use your computer for something else and still keep this farm running. So in order to maximize AFK farming, this is what you have to do inside Terraria. First off, load up a multiplayer map. Make sure you cl click host and play. This might not work if you're on console, I have no idea what happens. Click on your little character here, and select your world. Make sure if you want your friends to come in, keep this on, but if you don't want anyone to come in, just disable it. Make your password. It's a nice password there, you should do it. And then once it starts up the server, you head over to your farm, and activate the switch. And now you can do whatever you want. Now, by going into settings, video, go window. As long as you have borderless window innate disabled, you are able to do whatever you want. You can minimize this game and go do something else while this runs in the background. Now there are, there are mods to do this. However, this is the best way to AFK farm. As you can see behind the main menu, all the enemies are still going in and they are still dying. 
Also, adding a shadow candle will remove the spawn requirements for enemies, so by turning this into a hollowed biome, you can AFK farm the Rod of Discord. After 10 minutes of farming, I managed to get 88 gold, a hollow key, some beam swords, magic quivers, a metal detector, mimic drops, and some lovely apple pies, as well as 107 souls of light. This farm is fast. I managed to obtain several rods of discord, several hollow keys, and plenty of money to completely pay back the goblin tinkerer's several houses mortgages. Overall, of the 27 hours I spent on this challenge, probably 6 or 7 of them were spent sitting at this farm. After a quick farming session, I decided to go after my first music box. I placed an ungodly amount of torches and summoned the torch god. I freaking suck at Terraria. Luckily, I still had to collect the otherworldly music for the fight. I nearly sucked hard, but I managed to clutch out the win. Then I decided to grab some souls of flight for a pair of wings. But I had to ask, what wings did I want? Did I want to farm harpies for the for feathers? Hoping to get a giant harpy feather? Or fight ice drones and get an ice feather? However, I decided to obtain the most manly, most alluring, and most boisterous set of wings ever. The damn fairy wings. And I gotta say, they fit me pretty nicely. Joking aside though, soon after that, I had a feeling that this was going to be a terrible night. The twins spawned and were ready to kill. However, they were no match for my Onyx Blaster. Get out of here, get out of here. Please, please, I'm begging you, please leave. Woo! That was close. I collected my spoils and placed my two Boss 2 music boxes. I also crafted an excellent weapon. Scalibur time. Then I decided to go on a major music collection spree, collecting a lot of different music tracks. The reason why I need double ups of several music boxes is because the, of the title screen. Since you cannot bring a music box into the title, Terraria allows you to craft the music boxes, using several from the volume the title is in. After collecting these boxes, I summon and defeat the destroyer twice, not after I lost all my NPCs in the classic destroyer fashion. At this point I summoned Queen Slime just because she had a unique music box that I needed, and then I summoned Skeletron Prime and destroyed him, making the jungle feel restless. After quickly reforging my true Knight's Edge and true Excalibur, thank you Goblin, I dug out an arena to fight Plantera. No Os Osigoth tunnel needed, just pure skill with my true Knight's Edge. I did an epic gamer mowing session to get all my Chlorophyte and did not use any life fruits. I didn't want to use turtle armor or life fruits because I usually use them in my normal runs, and I should be able to beat Moonlord with 400 health on classic mode. I beat Moonlord third try on my first master mode run. After bombing out a large area and definitely raising suspicion from the amount of dynamite I purchased, I summoned the mother of all plants and got her amazing music and murdered her. Before going on, it would mean a lot to me if you subscribed. In December of this year, I will kill one master mode boss per subscriber I have, so claim your boss today. After entering the jungle temple and leaving, unwillingly, I summoned the Solar Eclipse with only several in-game hours left in the day. Luckily, I managed to get a moth run fast and it drops the broken hero sword on the first try. I craft... I said I craft the Terror Blade and hide. While setting my farm up, I realized I got pretty much everything of value from the Solar Eclipse. And with it only lasting several in-game hours, I got really lucky. Surely this luck holds out, right? This is more foreshadowing. After collecting some more music, I entered the temple with one of my rods of discord and summoned Golem. I don't know what you mean, I did not just die to Golem on classic. Wait, 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 wrong clip, sorry. I beat him on my first try and took my pitch sword. I tried to fight him again, but while I was trying to heal, a Arapaima removed me from strawberry fields. I did not die to golem, but to a stupid fish. Arapaima. 
After creating a graveyard, I spread the corruption to the surface and collect the music. And create an underground corruption, collect the music and clean it up. I decide to find the lunatic cultist while I'm there. Okay, then I didn't actually want the pillars to come in anyway. After realizing that the Crimson music boxes aren't used to craft the title music box, and also that they aren't for the first world evil, craft my first title screen music box, ending the first track. I decide to have a rematch against Lunatic Cultist, and after actually beating him this time, I start on with fighting the pillars. I decide to go on with the solar pillar first, as it's the one that's primarily focused on the melee build, which I am running. It's also the one that's right next to my house. After grabbing the otherworldly music, as well as the normal terrarium music for the pillars, I managed to defeat the solar pillar on my first try. I don't know why everyone hates the solar pillar, it's so easy. The other pillars, on the other hand, absolutely suck. Like. They, 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 I cannot express how many times I had to resummon and then die to the pillars in all my Terraria runs. I hate every other pillar, especially the Nebula pillar. I am able to defeat all the pillars and impending doom approaches. Filled with confidence that I will be able to finish Moon Lord on my first try, I give him a red hot go. And I lose, because I suck at Terraria. I could have summoned Moon Lord one more time, but no, instead I craft one of my favourite hooks, the Lunar Hook. Which means I have to beat the pillars. Again. Okay, fine, I didn't want the pillars to come back anyway. A, f a Blood Moon spawns, and I decide to try and farm up a pirate map, which I get and I use. While waiting for the pirates to come, however, and cleaning up my base, I accidentally kill a prismatic lace wings. And tell me you didn't see that, because I sure didn't. An Empress of Light spawned. Yes, I died with post cultist gear. I really, really, really suck at Terraria. I don't even think I got her music. The pirates have given me PTSD from my first ever times playing Terraria. I immediately got into hard mode, and then the pirate spawned two nights in a row, forcing me to spend an hour on him. I barely had any gear then, but now I push them over. I make them pay for what they have done to me, and I will forever hate the pirates. They leave, luckily, before I really start getting mad. They don't want to see me when I'm mad. The Travelling Merchant appeared with some Dynasty Wood and I decided to make a build out of it since I haven't really done much building here and I just needed to waste some time trying to get the Cultist to respawn and I'm actually pretty happy with this build. Let me know in the comments what you think. This is my first build I'm actually really proud of. While on the way to fight the Lunatic Cultist again, a Martian Probe spawns. I snatch the opportunity and fight the Martians. Is it weird that the Martian Sorcerer is the only event mini-boss that has a unique death message? All the other ones, such as the Flying Dutchman, just die, while the Flying Sorcerer says Martian Sorcerer has been defeated. Someone please fix this. It's really weird and out of place. After defeating the Lunatic Cultist, the Pillars decide to come back. You know what? You know how I said I died a lot? How about I chuck up a little death montage on how I died to the Pillars this time? Seven deaths to the classic mode pillars. I feel ashamed. Fortunately, after those seven deaths, I did end up defeating the pillars and summoning Moon Lord. 
I switched the music to the otherworldly and grabbed Moon Lord's music. After one of the most chaotic fights you will ever see, I died. Again. To Moon Lord. On Classic. Why did I only want to go into this with like minimal gear? I quickly decimate Skeletron Prime for his soul and summon the Frost Moon, which allows me to get yet another music box. After the Frost Moon, I looked in my inventory and realised I had enough pillar fragments to craft one more Celestial Sigil. Before I could use it though, slime started falling from the sky. I dropped everything and grabbed a music box from the musician. No wait, run mod. <laughs> I grabbed a music box from the wizard and grabbed the slime rain music. I was so lucky that I had this because it only has an 8% chance to occur at any morning at the beginning of hard mode. Or during hard mode, I should say. I was worried I would have to sleep for hours, like real life hours, to get this. So, luckily, I got it. King Slime, oh wait, 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 no, never mind. I was gonna mention King Slime, but he's dead already, so no need to mention him. What I will mention is that I died to Moon Lord again. Wait, this is coming a recurring theme. I decided stuff trying to make this hard, I d wanted this to be done with. So I upgraded my armor to beetle armor, but still did not consume a single life fruit. Because this was getting repetitive and I wanted to kill Moon Lord already and get on with late game. At this point I needed yet more Moon Lord summons. So I defeated the cultist, but you already know everything that happens beyond there, so I don't need to bore you again. Oh hey look, Moon Lord's just about to summon. And, spoiler, I actually defeat him this time. This is like attempt number five. But I actually managed to defeat Moon Lord and get to the credits. I hastily equip my music box because I thought that this is the only time you can get the credits. As the credits only show up once. However, after doing some more research afterwards, I realized that you could just purchase it from the princess. But that means I'd have to get the truffle. I do not want to go and have to get the truffle. Luckily I didn't, and I recorded it right here. Now with post Moon Lord gear, I should be able to swiftly get the rest of the music. Until I spent over 22 Platinum reforging my Daybreak and Solar Eruption, and missed several godly monster fires, which is the best possible modifier for these weapons. I fished up Duke Fishron, and for some reason the first music box came really easily, but the second one took an unusually long time to get. After getting the second music box, I was pretty close to defeating him, so I was sure that I could, especially in a classic mode with post Moon Lord gear. However, a shark NATO spawned on my face and killed me. Cheap death. I went to the snow, obtained the music, and created a deer clop summon. I couldn't kill him fast, which is hard with post moon or deer. Fortunately, I obtained the music very quickly and killed deer clops even quicker. And then I collected more music and organized it better. After sleeping till night, I summoned the Blood Moon to collect Prismatic Lace Wings. Guess how many I got in one night? You have 5 seconds. 15. Yes. 15 in one night. I've heard people, <coughs> Throbin, spending multiple nights trying to obtain them and only averaging 3 to 5 per night. And I got 15. Unreal. I summoned Empress of Light to obtain the music. With post Moon Lord gear, I should be able to win against the Empress. Wow, I suck so bad at Terraria. At least I got her music though, so, you know. 
I wanted to beat Moon Lord again for some more money and more loot, so I crafted yet another Celestial Sigil and summoned Moon Lord again, and I beat him again. The only useful thing I got was the Meow Meow Minecraft and the Terrarian Yo-Yo. Cool. I need to get a couple more solar fragments for the final pieces of solar armor. So, time to beat the pillars again. Yay. Fortunately, I only need to beat the solar pillar to obtain my solar armor. I wanted to try Empress of Light in the day, never mind. At this point, I crafted another music box. 1.4's Terraria title stream, Journey's Beginning. The second title music box is down. I cleaned up the pillars and moon lords so that way I can pass the time. I got a star wrath. Okay weapon, but I still like the Meow Meow better. I summoned the pumpkin moon for its music. And while fighting some pumpkins, I obtained the horseman's blade. Usually I hate this, but because I usually get it at this point in progression. However, after using it, I really like it now, at least in classic. Homing pumpkins are really good for extra damage. At this point, I pulled up Notepad and wrote down all the music boxes I was yet to collect. I also sorted my music more. I summoned Moon Lord again, and after beating him, I got my Meow Meow. Let's go. I summoned the Pumpkin Moon again, because apparently I didn't get the Pumpkin Moon music last time. I actually got the music this time and finished the event. I started looking for the final music for the old title, and I only needed Tutorial slash Morning Rain. That was completely luck based, so while I waited for the rain, I summoned the Old One's army to get its music. After collecting the music, I continued in the event, eventually reaching wave 7 with Betsy. After a long fight, the Old One's army proved victorious, but I still killed Betsy and got her wings. As I slept, I realised that it was raining in the morning. As I recorded the music, I got rain. Not morning rain. I thought I may have to leave my village as village music overrides several other things like morning day. And luckily when I did this I got morning rain. After creating a graveyard I combined my music and got old title. This brings back memories as I started playing Terraria on an old gen console where this title primarily plays. I wrote down the music that I needed to collect for the otherworldly track and started collecting and sorting and collecting. After sorting and writing down the boxes I had, I was left with these music boxes. Rain, Cavern, Mushrooms, Space, Snow, Surface and Underground Corruption, Underground Crimson, Ice, Underground Hollow, the music for Eye of Cthulhu, Old One's Army and Plantera. Going around collecting the music in the world. I also needed the dungeon music so I collected that as I was collecting my Surface Corruption. I just zipped around the world to all the biomes and collected their music. After some music collection, I accidentally summoned the Empress of Light for redemption. And I actually killed her this time. Woo. I summoned the Old One's army again and left after getting the music. The Old One's army takes so much time, I didn't want to end up doing it a second time. At this point, only two music boxes remained. Sandstorm for the normal Terraria track and Rain for the otherworldly track. After some sleeping and more sleeping. Did I mention I did some sleeping? I wanted to actually do something rather than sleeping for hours, so I decided to try and get a shell phone, which requires fishing. A lot of fishing. And I took a long time to get these items. So instead of covering the next 3 hours of straight fishing, I'll just cover the exciting parts. I shimmered a gold worm into a gummy worm to gain fishing power, and caught lava critters for lava fishing. Slept a lot and lava fished. It's taking a really really long time. Does lava fishing usually take this long? Fishing is really, really boring. Why did I want to go get the shell phone? I tried to purify the tax collector, and I failed. 
I caught more lava critters and lava fished more. I also completed angler quests to try and get some fishing equipment. During fishing, I fished up a pearl wood crate, and upon opening it, I obtained an enchanted sundial. That has a very low chance, about half a percent from pearl wood crates. I also wanted the terrace bath roots, and was missing ice skates as well as everything after that. But I swear, after tearing apart the snow biome, I could not find a single ice skate. More fishing later then. I summoned the Empress of Light again and beat her again for no reason but boredom. While sleeping, it started raining. I purchased the music box and obtained otherworldly rain. I collected all the otherworldly music boxes. Only one music box remained and it was all luck. I just slept more, occasionally killing the quote unquote rare rainbow slime. A blood moon occurred and not able to sleep through it, I didn't want to skip it. As maybe I could fish up the dread Nautilus and kill Borden. After fishing, I fished up a titanium crate. You won't believe what I got. Another sundial. It had a 5% chance from coming from titanium crates, but I was mad as I spent a lot of time in my main master mode world trying to get it, but I didn't get it after several hours of fishing. In a rage, I killed enemies and got a wandering eye kite. After my Two brave cells went to work, I started thinking. Kites only drop when it's windy. Wind causes sandstorm. There might be a sandstorm. I rushed home and sure enough, it was sandstorming. I recorded the last piece of music in this run. I skipped the night as I wanted to finish it in the nice bright daylight. I grabbed some Martian plates and a spare day music box and crafted the final music box in the run. Terraria Day Theme Remix, and if you haven't heard it, you're in for a treat. And that was it. I just collected all the music boxes inside of Terraria. Yeah. Yes. I got them all. Every single music box. Yes. Mr. Wizard, you are freed from your duty. Just, just stay there. Just stay right there, Mr. Wizard. Do I recommend this? If you have patience or want something more from Terraria, or even want to chill, grabbing some music boxes out of your raid can be a really nice way to do it. Mr. Wizard, thank you so much for your contributions. But now it is time for you to leave. Settle down. I'm not Kevin. And that was it. After sacrificing the wizard to hell, I organized my music boxes one final time and took a nice screenshot. If you want more Terraria content, let me know. Maybe I'll try getting Calamity music after this. Calamity music is great, but I, and I would love to do that, but only if you guys want to see it. Otherwise, I've been Guardian Games 627, and I'll see you next time.